Welcome to Tokyosaurus. So what's up in Japan? Remember that Pokemon Sun and Moon anime that everyone flipped out on after seeing how goofy the art looked? Well, turns out it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Maybe a little bit of rainbow at the end, but so far the series has been full of surprises. Especially with that Mimikyu episode where we get to see the darker side of Pokemon. The latest episode was an hour special for episodes 20 to 21, and in 21, we see one of the most heartbreaking episodes to have ever graced the series. We're gonna go into episode details now, so if you don't want to get spoiled, there's your warning. Anyways, the episode begins with Litten stealing a donut from Ash, and so Ash chases Litten back to her home, which was under the bridge, and we find a big Stoutland on an old sofa where we see Litten place the stolen donut on. Ash goes down to meet the two, and we hear Stoutland coughing non-stop, and he is clearly sick. Ash doesn't make too much out of it and leaves. At this point, we see a cut to a tree with only a few leaves left on it. Later on, during a fight with Team Rocket, a panicked Litten came to ask Ash for help, and they left back to the bridge only to see Stoutland has collapsed. And so Ash picks up the Stoutland only to find that he is very light, and brings him to a Pokemon Center immediately. Stoutland is then on IV and a heart monitor at this point, and things are looking pretty bad for our doggy friend. We hear Nurse Joy explain to Ash, Stoutland is, Stoutland is, and then it gets cut. Ash asks if Litten knows, and Nurse Joy says, I think it does. If it's not obvious enough at this point, we constantly get cuts to the tree as it's slowly withering away down to its last leaf, progressively as Stoutland's condition gets worse. Later on, Stoutland and Litten leaves the Pokemon Center and returns to their home under the bridge and the sofa. Litten cuddles up to Stoutland to sleep and dreams of running towards Stoutland, but Stoutland disappears. Litten wakes up from the horrible dream only to find that the sofa was empty and that Stoutland was gone. Litten tries everywhere to find his doggy friend, and soon after it exhausts all his options, Litten goes back to the bridge. The sofa somehow breaks and the last leaf on the tree falls off. Rain is pouring hard at this point. And then came the killer part. Litten looks to the sky and screams in what's got to be the saddest voice I have ever heard from a Pokemon before, while Ash and the Professor is on the other side of the bridge, watching in complete silence. Ash tries to comfort Litten through the stages of grief, and even Meowth tried to get Litten to talk about its feelings, because he knows that's one way to feel a little better. Litten doesn't eat or do anything for a while except sleep on what remains of the sofa, and all of Ash's Pokemon come to try to cheer up poor Litten, and eventually Litten sees a cloud in the sky that is definitely in the shape of Stoutland, smiling down at Litten, with a rainbow in the sky. And Litten finally smiles again and seems to have accepted the passing of his good old friend. He then befriends Ash and joins his team. So that was pretty much the whole episode. Death in Pokemon doesn't happen frequently, in fact most of the time when someone dies in Pokemon, they usually come back or gets revived somehow. This is one of the few instances where a Pokemon actually passes away and is not coming back for sure. For Pokemon's 20th anniversary double episode special, this topic was quite a heavy one to tackle, especially for a celebratory themed episode. Nobody expected it, and I've got to say this is probably the most moving episode of Pokemon to date, and I mean including everything from the very first season. Maybe it's just because I have a dog, but still, you watch it and tell me it's not moving. Anyways, what did you guys think of this special episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon? Did it change your opinion of the seemingly goofy Pokemon anime yet? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and don't forget to follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And subscribe to Tokyo Source if you haven't already for the latest things people are talking about in Japan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.